Hey everyone, this is Jason with Share It Solutions, and today we're going to be talking about the difference between first and second focal plane in a scope. Uh, in this series on, on scopes, we've been using the Vortex Crossfire 2, 2 to 7 by 32, um, and this scope is a second focal plane scope. Basically, focal planes is, is where the reticle inside is located, and why that matters is um, it changes how this, the reticle acts as you adjust your magnification. So a second focal plane, which is by far the most common type of uh, scope, second focal plane means the reticle inside will stay the same size no matter what magnification you're at. So if you look in here, this one's equipped with the V-plex reticle. If I can get uh, this adjusted right, you'll see... The reticle, if I can get it to focus, there we go, there's the reticle. And as I dial the magnification up, you can see the reticle does not change size, stays the same size. So that's full magnification, and you can't, you know, I'm just looking at the table here so you can't see that the magnification changed, but the reticle stayed the same size. On a first focal plane scope, the reticle would grow and shrink as you adjusted the magnification. So at the lowest magnification, the it's almost like the, the reticle zooms out and zooms in. Now, why this matters is on this, this being a second focal plane scope, the reticle subtensions are only accurate at the full magnification. Um, in the next video series, in the next video in this series, we're going to talk about subtensions and what they are. But for this video, you just need to know that the subtensions of this V-plex reticle are only accurate at full magnification for a second focal plane scope. On a first focal plane scope, the subtensions are accurate at any magnification. So, again, this is on first focal plane versus second focal plane. If you found this helpful. Consider liking the video, subscribing to the channel, and checking out the other videos in the Scope series. Thanks!